Welcome to the now. Sharing with you today a um, hmm, excerpt that I found online. It is by Brene Brown, and basically, it's an acronym for uh, braving and how the anatomy of trust is created in a relationship, whether it's between yourself and yourself or yourself and another individual, regardless of the type of relationship. Uh, that you might encounter, whether it's a uh, friendship, a uh, family-like dynamic relationship, or even more romantic. And so in this acronym, B stands, stands and not stands, <laughs> B stands for boundaries. Boundaries meaning, I trust you if you're clear about your boundaries and you hold them and you're clear about my boundaries, and you respect them. R stands for reliability. And so that you do what you say you're gonna do, and we have to be very clear on our limitations so, don't, so we don't take on so much that we come up short, and we don't deliver on our commitments because we've taken on so much that we come up short. So reliability is key. Then A stands for accountability. I can only trust you if when you make a mistake, you're willing to own it. Apologize for it and make amends. I can only trust you if when I make a mistake, I'm allowed to do the same. Vault is the V in braving. And basically it says that what I share with you, you'll hold in confidence. Also, you don't need to share things with me that are not yours to share because then my trust in you is diminished. I stands for integrity, choosing courage over comfort, choosing what's right over what's fun, fast or easy, and practicing your values, not just professing your values. The N is for non-judgment so that I can fall apart, ask for help, and be in struggle without being judged by you, and you can do the same with me. If you can't ask for help and they can't reciprocate, that's not a trusting relationship. Real trust doesn't exist unless help is reci reciprocal and in non-judgment. G stands for generosity, but our relationship is only trusting if you can assume the most generous thing about my words, my intentions, my behaviors, and then check in with me. And what's really, really cool about this specific screenshot that I captured is it goes into more detail, stating that if you find yourself in a struggle with trust, the first thing to examine is how you treat yourself, not kind of taking apart the other person and starting this whole kind of mental process where, oh, they're out to get you and they're only thinking of their better interests, so on and so forth, which is not in the non-judgmental clause nor in the generosity clause, so on. And so it says, did I honor my boundaries? Was I reliable? Can I count on myself? Did I hold myself accountable? Was I really protective of my stories? Did I stay in my integrity? Was I judgmental towards myself? Was I generous with myself? Did I give myself the benefit of the doubt? And so if braving relationships is braving connections, self-trust is braving self-love and self-respect. We can't ask people to give us something that we don't believe we're worthy of receiving. I know I'm worthy of receiving trust. I know I'm worthy of receiving this dynamic relationship where everyone is connected and has clear boundaries, is reliable, is accountable, has the vault-like quality, stands up in integrity, in non-judgment and generosity and know for a fact that you will find all of these here on this medium so thank you for taking time to tune in I could try and find a way to get this kind of linked up so that you have uh, the image on 
the vlog post. I'm still working at it, getting better on a day-to-day -day basis, breath-to-breath -breath basis, and staying in non-judgment, of course. Um, but if I can't manage to get that image joined into this video, I'm going to like hold my phone up against the screen again. So there you have it, Braving the Anatomy of Trust by Brene Brown. And definitely worth screenshotting and putting on your home page or your lock screen or whatever you want to call it. Because if you do try and apply these simple steps into your day, and I mean in the end there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, seven points, like seven days of the week that you can incorporate into your relationships, starting with your relationship with yourself and then kind of letting it propagate through your other relationships. Guarantee you'll be a lot happier, you'll feel more fluid, and chances are you'll be more present too. Because it takes presence to kind of activate those um, capacities within yourself. And it takes presence to cultivate a stable relationship with yourself and those around you. So stay in tune for more inspiration, whether it's in the medium of affirmations, quotes, exercises, or whatnot. And as usual, if you'd like to comment, maybe a story of your own where you've incorporated this braving acronym into your relationships, whether you just want to talk about your now, an issue that you have successfully jumped over or are still kind of moseying through. This is for you. This is for you to share so that you can alleviate, maybe find more um, non-judgmental uh, foundations so that you're more present and feel happy now. That's going to be that for now. I'm going to go back to enjoying the now, but you can find me tomorrow. I'll be running up, down, right, left, center. Tomorrow is uh, September 5th, 2019. I will be at Sky Venture for the majority of the day, after which I'm guiding a 60-minute core flow at Asha Yoga starting at 4.30 p.m. I will also be at Asha Yoga teaching a 75-minute foundations practice tomorrow evening starting at 6 p.m. And then you can catch me at Atlas Gym at 7.45 p.m. teaching a boot camp yoga practice. <sighs> All that being said, I'm going to go cuddle with my mascots now. Um, but feel free to tune in again tomorrow or later for more inspiration. So thanks for all. Peace out and have a wonderful now.